The Bioshock is a little over two hours of deep slash REM sleep. The Whoop is about over two hours and 15 minutes and the Aura is one hour and 15 minutes. So it's really hard to tell who do you believe on your sleep stages. Shervin shares, I share products, services, and experiences that help you achieve your peak performance. Today we're talking about the bio strap right here. The bio strap right there. Look at that box. Ooh, the lights. Uh, the bio strap is a device that you kind of wear. It has no screen. It's very similar to the whoop if you know what that is. And this is the actual band right here. Um, it's got a little cool edges. It looks kind of like a Fitbit, I, you could almost say, but there's literally no screens. And then on the inside, Watch this, you can actually pop out uh, the sensor, the device, the sensor itself. And this is what it looks like, just the sensor itself. And this goes inside of the wristband, which is just pure silicone. That is the last night I'm gonna actually wear it. I'm gonna return it tomorrow, ship it back. And I just wanna do a quick review. Okay, so this is the Biostrap box. Um, it comes, this is the Biostrap right here. It's kind of the packaging. They give you this little mini user guide. This is what the inside of that user guide looks like. Um, I got this kind of like in December with a Black Friday sale. It also comes with a shoe pod, which is inside of here. And that's just another thing you have to charge. And it comes with shoe pod clips and you put this on your shoe. And when I first got it, you need, you need to wear this shoe pod. This is the shoe pod right here when you work out. It's this little device, it's literally just a box. And you put this on your, sh on like your shoelaces. You put this underneath your shoelaces and then the shoe pod goes in. Within the first week, I broke, they give you two, luckily. I broke the first one, so there goes that. Quick and easy within the first seven days. The second one I was much more careful with. I was like, this is super delicate, but if it's something you're working out with, like it's got, I don't know. I just feel like it should be sturdy enough. So this is the inside of the box. Oops. I'm gonna put the shoe pod in there. The shoe pod is obviously not charged anymore. And then they give you extra bands inside as well. So extra bands are enclosed. Looks like they gave me a blue and a white. These are the extra bands. I never actually took them out of the box. Um, but I got this for $140. To, oh, here it is. It's got a different type of way that you actually put this on. It's more like a clip versus the other one is more like the Apple Watch. So I never actually touched these. I never really want other colors. It's nice that they give you extra bands included in the price. But normally, I think this is a little over $200, which is a bit pricey, and it, $250, I think. And somehow, they gave me like a double discount. I think they just messed up the website. But I'm still returning it, even then, even though it was only $140. But for $150, I still don't think this is worth it. It's just the, the needing to charge the shoe pod and the wristband at the same time. The battery lasts only for like two to three days, which is not a long time. Um, the Apple Watch only lasts a day, but I know that, hey, every night I charge it when I go to bed. But with the bio strap, I wear it when I sleep. So it's like, when do I charge it? And then I had to carry the charger to work, uh, bring the charger home. Sometimes I forgot the charger. If I didn't charge the shoe pod, I couldn't even record an activity. Um, so that was kind of the challenges that I had with it. It just required a lot of maintenance, effort, and thought. And I was like, ah, it's not something it's not that important to me to have this device to go through that effort and maybe for some people it is but for me i like to live a minimalistic lifestyle minimal effort and get maximum output and this was just good output a lot of effort not worth it um, in terms of accuracy they say within four percent clinical grade whatever that means i have a better sleep tuner they're two percent accuracy for the device that you wear on your forehead um, this one is four percent and they both tout clinical grade so that can really mean anything. Um, but I do believe the Biostrap is more accurate. They use a red PPG sensor, so and rather than uh, the Whoop and the Apple Watch use green um, sensors, so they get active heart rate and all that jazz. Um, but when it comes to having a red PPG sensor, this one is infrared, the Aura Ring is infrared PPG. They're able to get heart rate variability with high accuracy. Um, and some of the numbers are just more accurate, but they can't get active data, so the Aura Ring and the Biostrap only measure when you're still and not moving versus the Whoop and the Apple Watch are more active-based trackers. Biostrap, so here's the app. And when you go to settings, you can see the wristband is charging, the shoe pod is disconnected because there's no battery. And then you can also add a third device. So the third device is the active heart rate monitor. I did buy a Polar um, OH1 Plus active heart rate monitor. 
Um, sadly, it doesn't integrate with the Apple Watch, so you have to wear like I was wearing the the bio strap, the shoe pod, and the Polar heart rate monitor, and my Apple Watch. And this is a lot of devices. But what's really interesting is I can go and add devices, and it actually finds the Whoop, and then it pairs with the Whoop active heart rate monitor. So I could technically use that for tracking. I tried it, and for some reason it just didn't work. Um, and it tracks your steps, just like an Apple Watch. I really don't care about steps. Um, it's got some cool features. I haven't used this in a while. But if you do like weightlifting or certain kinds of exercises, you can train the algorithm so that way it knows like, hey, you're doing 15 bicep curl reps within a 10% differentiation, like your bicep pull-ups or whatever. Um, it's late, I'm tired. It's past my bedtime now. Um, but but it, it got, the thing I did love about it is you can actually do training. So for cycling, you can go, if I wanna add an activity, I go tap and then I hit, it doesn't put my favorites at the top. So I'll search. C cycling is not here anymore. It's just little things like this that. So I'm gonna check yoga. Oh. Oh, this is to add an activity after the fact. Go to record. So you can do biometrics. I tried this on an airplane, I did like four biometrics. And then I tried to email myself the report and like only one of them came through and the data was like not, was halfway there. So that was a big disappointment, but they've done an update and supposedly it's better, I'm not really sure. Uh, the sleep tracking, I would manually record and then over time it just automatically learns. Here's the activity, there we go, cycling. Shoe pod not connected. So previously they would not even allow you to record an activity if you didn't have the shoe pod connected. But now it seems like I might. You can use the phone GPS. Let's say I'm doing cycling in a still place. So now really it's just a timer. It's getting no data because the band is not an active heart rate. The shoe pot is not getting your revolutions and then you don't have active heart rate. So let's session too short. And then they have meditation and obviously you can see your sleep lab meditation plus. These are extra purchases that you can buy on top of it. The one thing I did love about Biostrap is their uh, dashboard. If you can see here, resting heart rate increased by 1.8% last night from my average. My HRV up 11.4% and it shows green, respiratory. It does oxygen saturation, which not a lot of devices do right now. I think the Fitbit just turned it on. And then they have insights. The thing I did not like about this is they compare you with the rest of their users. So my HRV for some reason is pretty low. And when I look at this, I'm like, damn, I work out a lot. Why is my HRV so low? And it's definitely based off genetics. I can probably increase it an X amount, but only so far. And then they also have the whole entire radar chart with all of these categories. Another big benefit is you can turn on airplane mode, whereas the whoop, you cannot. The aura ring, you can. It's got recording settings. I can go in and turn on uh, different recording settings in terms of the frequency. It's five minutes, 10 minutes. Uh, increase the biometric readings throughout the day. Your battery just dies quicker if you do these settings. There's an exercise library. This is where you go and train it. I partially trained bench press, but I just never moved forward with that. I didn't see much value in it. You can set daily goals. And then manage remote monitoring. So if I have like a doctor or a trainer, I can have them connect and see the data through the app, which I think is super powerful. But I just never used it because I didn't need it. They have great videos in there that you can watch on how all the data works, FAQs, uh, a support tab to contact them directly, and then refer a friend. So I do have a referral link below. You can use that uh, to get the Bioshop if you're interested. It'll get me some money and use some money, help support the channel, so I would really appreciate it. And then the marketplace, like I said, Meditation Plus and the Sleep Lab, which you can buy, and they also have a 30-day free trials. The dashboard, my favorite thing is I usually look at the bottom four, the top two, I don't really care. I wish you could reorganize it or remove or hide them. Um, so I'll tap on like resting heart rate and I can see the biometric readings and drag through and see what it says throughout the night. Purple is sleeping, daytime is white. And then I can see during the week, how has my resting heart rate been? Throughout the month, how has it been? Um, performing and then throughout the year it needs at least three months but it gets me my resting heart rate is it increasing decreasing over time and I can do the same thing with heart rate variability it gives me a trend for the night before I can go over and see the week how has it been doing is it increasing with the, the behavior change that I've been implementing or not and then finally year you can see that dip right there was probably when I went to New Orleans for the weekend oxygen saturation look at that it's going up and up baby 
there you go, I'm doing more cardio. So this actually inspired me to do more cardio because I was, my, I was like, my oxygen saturation is on the low average end. How do I work towards increasing it? The readings do happen every five, two to 10 minutes, depending on which plan you have. Sleep lab gets you two minutes. If not, it's five minutes. So it's not good at detecting like sleep apnea if your blood oxygen drops rapidly at a certain point, but it's good to just get like an overall idea. And then on these three circles, I can tap sleep and see my sleep does uh, awake, light, and deep. It merges your deep and REM sleep into one category, which they call deep. You can see your biometrics throughout the night and you can edit the sleep schedule. And I can go over and see my week, how my sleep schedule has been changing, my sleep scores over the month and the year, just like everything else. Uh, and then they give you a readiness score, just like the aura ring, just like the whoop. And this is defined using your HRV, H heart rate, sleep efficiency, and duration. And I can see how my re readiness score has been trending throughout the past. And then finally activity, which I no longer use this for, but I've been wearing it to sleep. What's interesting though, is you can see HRV here is 39, 43, 36, right? I'll go to the whoop and they also have HRV. So that's under recovery, 36, right? The first one was 39, Let's see. And then the whoop is saying that it increased, right? 36, probably like 31 and 30. Whereas the bio strap is saying 36, 43, and then 39. So it's two totally different graphs. So it's like, which one is actually more accurate? I would probably guess the bio strap is more accurate than the whoop. Um, and then you can, I can even go to my aura ring and see, how about that? So 38, 31, 33, 38, 31, 33, 38 to 39, 43 to 31 and 36 to 33. So all of them show slightly different HRV scores. Who knows which one's more accurate. There's almost a 10 point difference. So it's like, which one do you actually believe? Uh, in terms of charging time, like I plugged in at the beginning of this video, it went from 15 to 20%. It's, it's decent. It just takes a couple of hours, but you need to have their specific wireless charging pad. Just like for the loop, there's a wireless charging I guess all these devices have their own unique wireless charging. Uh, the sleep lab does have this like snoring levels, which let me see if I can find them. I had, but it used to record my snoring audio levels. And I wonder if they deleted that when I gave up the plan. But as you can see, I got it in December. Oh, and it was still calibrating around this time period. I had my activities. And I noticed that the calorie burn was very similar to an Apple Watch when I used the activities and the Polar OH1 Plus. Whereas the Whoop was definitely different than all the rest. Um, it's very thin, which I do like. Silicone, silicone, silicone. Um, your hand does get kind of sweaty. I do like how my Apple Watch band has holes in it. The Whoop is definitely a little bit different in terms of the feel. And finally, they have like a blog that shows uh, how to increase your HRV, how to increase your SpO2 levels, your oxygen levels. And I think that's super valuable to just read their content, even if you don't have a bio strap, but it's really cool to follow their Instagram, read their content. So overall, I, I, I kind of like the device. I'm just the value and the effort required to maintain it. It's just not worth it. I don't think it's something I recommend right now. Hopefully they come up with something that can do active and have the red PPG sensors at the same time and hopefully increase the battery life. I love the always on bio, uh, whoop. So the bio strap, you have to take it off and charge it. Sometimes I just leave it on the charger and forget about it or I had to go somewhere. Whereas the whoop, you can walk around with it while it's charging. That I wish they could incorporate. Um, I do love the dashboard on the bio strap. If, if they could just compress it to fit on one page without you having to scroll. I do love how they show the trends. Um, that's the Biostrap review. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like this video. I'm going to keep making more content. I'll try to do a detailed deep dive in terms of the data differences with the Whoop or a Ring um, and a couple other devices like the Dream 2 headband. If you're interested, subscribe, comment below. Let me know which device you're interested in learning more about. I, I'm making these videos for y'all and having fun doing it. I'm going to bed. See you in the next one. Peace. Hi.